Tom. Here we are, heading into transition out of the CEO role. Why now? This is the best job in the world, so it wasn't an easy decision. I thought about it for a long time, and then as the economy was rebounding, the business is rebounding, and thought about all the things that we've accomplished so far. And it just seems like the right time now to pass the torch on to somebody else that can take it to the next level. What's unique about this region and this airport? Well, first of all, let's talk about the airport for a minute. It's got three really cool, unique advantages. One, we have the largest landmass of any major airport in Canada. Second, we're on this circumpolar route, which means we're the shortest distance, really, of all the major airports to the Far East and to other areas around the world. And third, we're the gateway to the north. So I really liked that part of the uniqueness of the geography and of the Edmonton region and the Edmonton airport. And then the city itself is so vibrant. Uh, you've got all these tens of thousands of university students. You have all this innovation, uh, deep minds that set up shop here from San Francisco and all this industry and a lot of great leaders, a lot of young leaders as well that are here. So I, when I thought about all that vibrancy and, and between the airport and the region, it was a no-brainer really to come here. I don't think everybody realizes just how much our region punches above its weight. What kind of economic impact have we been able to have? We're a catalyst for economic impact, and at Edmonton International Airport, we've had $3.2 billion of economic impact on an annual basis. At Villeneuve Airport, over $62 million. And so that is a gigantic part of what our role is. What is the thing that you've done here? Is it culture? Is it the innovation? Is it like, what, what's the thing? Well, I think the big thing is, is culture, and, and it's, it's so multidimensional. Uh, first of all, if I just talk about the culture of our employees, uh, one of the things I, I, I notice is well, the work ethic is unbelievable. And then the other culture, we have tens of thousands of people that are working directly and indirectly at the airport, and they collaborate so well with the airport workers in, in terms of driving economic impact. And then you can take it another level. You look at this region we have of one point four million people and we have this symbiotic uh, collaborative relationship with all the municipalities around us and all that works and then you weave in the fact that we work with our board so well our board uh, are leaders of our communities uh, they're visionary they work with the executive management and so all that creates this uh, wonderful culture and we've developed 1.5 billion dollars of private investment over the last eight or nine years, 25 different developments that are really creating a lot of commercial opportunities and jobs at the airport. And you put all that together and all the e-commerce that we're developing and our record cargo traffic. So that's another element of the, the land that we have. And then we have all this innovation. We have 30 incubator uh, companies on the airport. Everything from drones. We were the first airport to have commercial drone operations in Canada. We have wild and pine here that's finding a better way to do reforestation. And then we have Indigenous Box who, who's here. And they've gone from working in their basement a year ago to being a multi-million dollar company. And then just as importantly, if not more importantly, over the last several years, we started this airport city sustainability campus. And we, we were the first airport in the world to sign the Amazon uh, Climate Pledge to be carbon neutral by 2040. And we're gonna easily do that because we're gonna have the world's largest solar farm on an airport. That breaks the ground later this year. In addition to the solar farm, uh, we just put online less than a year ago, a cogeneration facility that's reducing our carbon footprint by 20%. We're now getting uh, into hydrogen in a big way. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we signed 11 partnerships to work on hydrogen development in the airport. And hydrogen just might be that one element that helps save the planet. Talk a little bit more about your team. Tell me about the, the people that work here at the airport. No way. Hello. Oh my gosh, how are you? Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gorgeous. How long have you been doing this pet therapy program? A couple years now. Wow. What, what we do at the airport, and all our employees know that if you think about it, is every day there's tens of thousands of people that are coming to our airport. And our job as employees at the airport is to make sure that they all have an amazing experience here and it's a good reflection on our city. I really feel like the person that has this role will realize this is everybody's airport. This belongs to the entire community and it's a, a privilege, an honor, and a real responsibility uh, to be CEO 
of this airport 